All right, we're joined now with Kentucky Wesleyan head football coach Brent Holsclaw. Coach, can you first just talk about the impressions of the team as camp has gone underway here? Yeah, we're kind of right in the middle of it right now. Uh, classes will start this time next week, so we've got about six more days with the guys to take advantage of the time we have with them before their attention goes into the classroom. It's been a good camp. The guys came back in terrific shape. Uh, we've got uh, our depth is much better this year. Uh, so. As the schedule grows, I hope that our talent has grown, our coaches have grown, and, and uh, uh, our program's on the rise. Can you talk a little bit about the recruiting class and the incoming players, whether they're transfers or freshmen, ones you think that could uh, make an impact immediately? Yeah, right now our quarterback spot um, is, is a very inter it's a very interesting dynamic. We have, we have, a, we have three returners, uh, Malin Webb, uh, Eman Westmore, and Mike McGee. Uh, and we have uh, two newcomers, uh, Myron Norfleet, he's a freshman out of Louisville Central, and uh, we have a transfer, a uh, young man who played at Western Kentucky University and uh, is actually actually now coming from North Texas uh, in Demarcus Smith. He was a, a, a real a top high school quarterback in the state of Kentucky a, a few years back. Um, right now, it's it's a it's been a great race with my returners. They've they have uh, they've battled hard and competed. Uh, once we get an eligibility ruling on Demarcus. Uh, then we'll make it a decision on what the starter is, who the starter is going to be. Uh, but at, the, at this point, um, until we get a, an eligibility decision, um, that's kind of that situation where it is right now. But the, uh, you know, we got a couple good young running backs who've come in and really showed out. Josiah Israel has is, uh, is really turned some heads this camp. Um, we've got a, a couple freshman offensive linemen. Noah Bringer from Louisville Mail, just been an outstanding prospect during camp. He's really, really way ahead of where we thought he'd be. Um, defensively, Jameer Johnson, a uh, young man from Perry, Georgia, uh, in our secondary, looks really sharp. Um, and uh, it, Jamison Blackwell, one of our uh, inside linebackers from Union City, Tennessee, has really showed out this camp uh, physically, uh, a very dominant type young man. Uh, but it's, it's been a great mix. I mean, these guys, the upperclassmen have done a great job in terms of welcoming these guys, making them feel like they are a part of our family because they are. Um, so it's been a really good camp. I'm extremely excited about what I'm seeing on the field right now. Uh, but again, there are there are still a lot of question marks uh, at the quarterback position, especially. Uh, you know, we got a game in 13 days, so uh, we're hoping to have some sort of uh, clarity on that spot, uh, hopefully by the end of the weekend. I know you touched on it a little bit earlier, but can you expand a little bit more on the schedule and obviously the quality opponents that you're playing week well, in and week out? Right now, we, you know, all our focus is on our team. Um, probably come Wednesday when classes start, the attention will turn to the first opponent. Uh, Delta State is a terrific opponent. Um, we felt like we played with them last year, but we just we were a little starstruck at the game. Uh, now that we've been in that environment, um, I'm hoping it's not uh, our kids aren't as taken back by the atmosphere. And uh, we come back and we're a little more relaxed going into that game. We were a little uptight going into that game last year. So uh, for, for us to compete at that level, we've got to go in uh, with a, we've got to be one, we've got to be relaxed, but yet we've also got to be emotional about playing football. So it's, a, it's that fine line balance you've got to find uh, with your football team. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't get any easier after that. you got Davidson, um, you've got a, a Davenport uh, program that started that uh, from what I've heard, uh, has done some terrific recruiting this year. Um, and obviously, you start with a regional power in the University of Indianapolis. Central State University is a common foe. Uh, and then we go up another level again with the FCS school in Northwestern State. Um, and then we've got the big game at UNC Pembroke, um, a game that was uh, hard fought last year by both teams. Uh, you know, and then we've got the number six team in the country coming to Steel Stadium in Ashland University. So it's a huge challenge. And then, you know, then we've got the long bus trip to New York to play Alfred State. Uh, then we then we get into our last two games of the season, which are GMAC foes um, in Malone and uh, Alderson Broadus. But you talk about an exciting time right now uh, for our program and our young men. Uh, but they've worked hard. They've paid a price physically and mentally. And uh, I think the fans are going to be excited about what they see. All right, Coach. Thank you for your time and appreciate it. Appreciate you.